Do you know what I hate? Caravanners. To be fair, maybe hate is a strong word, but uh, distaste, maybe. Oh, so let me take you back a, uh, a moment and to where I bought my truck. So I bought a Ranger. It was a previous generation. Now, at least at the time, it was the current generation, but you know, they changed and chop and they're a bit different now. The reason I purchased that was to do some towing. That's the main reason you would buy a truck, right? Three and a half tons is what it's supposed to tow. It did, uh, but then I had some issues. This is great. Yeah, she's got this road. Word of advice if you're looking for a truck, don't get the five cylinder Ford Ranger. It may sound cooler, it may be bigger engine, but let's just say they might need a rebuild after um, a few thousand miles. So then I was on a hunt for a estate car that could tow. I didn't want any other trucks. I didn't want an SUV. Now I definitely prefer the look of like an RS6, for example, but now I've got this, this is honestly, <laughs> Maybe the best car I've owned. Practical, powerful, and it's a really good looking car. All wheel drive. Now a lot of anxiety has been building up in me. And the main reason <laughs> is because of caravanners. Unfortunately for basically everyone, caravanning is the most popular towing that you can find in the UK. Again, that's fine. People like to go on their adventures, but when you're trying to do research, information finding, that's where things get a little bit uh, frustrating. Forums, posts, threads everywhere telling you about things like the 85% rule, which is supposed to help people, but is that just for caravans? Is it a rule at all? Even the caravanners can't agree. Inexperienced drivers are supposedly supposed to only tow 85% of the weight of the tow vehicle. But experienced drivers can tow 100%. So in that case, what about a truck or an SUV? Both have the towing capacity of three and a half from the manufacturer. They don't weigh three and a half tons, do they? Then there's towing capacity, tow ball weight, and all oh, the gearbox won't be able to do it. And that's why they don't do those gearboxes in that they do. Bring on the Porsche Panamera. I'm gonna give you some stats. I've done the research. It's my car. I have the booklet. I have the official information from Porsche. And I have the caravanners online. This is the highest estate towing car that I do know of other than the A4 All Road, but is that really an estate? 2.2 tons, which is quite a lot. That's a lot, this is a big number. Then there's also the tow ball, which also has its own weight limit, which is obviously higher on like a four x four or an SUV, but this is 100 kg, respectable. And then the main reason I want to tow is to tow this, my R34 GTR. Now, have a guess, what do you think? How much do you think this thing weighs? People try and insult these and say they're big boats, big heavy car, because it's actually of the old classic cars that I have owned, is the heaviest, 1.4 tons, with me in it. One thing I will thank the caravanners for is uh, this. So this basically compresses, see how much I can press, <coughs> 25 kg, let's go. So this goes underneath, and basically we can check how much weight the trailer itself puts down on here. Now, this is super helpful. Again, the Panamera locks out 100 kg. All these numbers in my head, I need to test it, because this is. I need to get it out of my head, okay? Wheel's now spinning, wheel's loose, so we're set at about 80, which means <laughs> normally what you're supposed to do with a trailer, at least you're told to do, is bring the load as far forward as possible to balance it. You don't wanna, yeah. However, on this, in my mind, yes, I'm gonna try and put it as far forward as I can because 100 is kind of what I wanna hit, but the more weight I have in the middle of the trailer here, that should be safer, right? Let's see, I'm 98 kg. If I stand at the front, does it change? Let <laughs> me go back. So I'm stood here. What does it go to? 95. Oh my, really? All right, this is the scary part, getting the skyline on the trailer. I'm gonna test it with the tow ball, squishy thingy, bobber, doodad, it's the official name. Oh, I also didn't know this until recently. Um, it has legs. Ow. <laughs> Literally, I've been using it without that. One of the main reasons 
for my fancy trailer is that I can do this. How much weight is it putting on the front now? I should probably uh, put it on the ball. I might be pooing my pants a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, it's doable. <laughs> we need wood, my car's too low. People tell me I need to lower my car, did you know? I am sweating now from anxiety. <laughs> We're about in the middle. That's a long car, actually. I didn't realize how long it was. This trailer is supposed, roughly will fit an LC. Absolutely terrifying, to be completely honest. So there we are, set up with the trailer, and I did realize that my mic cut out after recording this. I would put the ramps away and then proceeded to balance and weigh this thing. Now that took a lot of nudging forward, nudging backwards, just to make sure that I got the level right. Too heavy at the front would be an issue, too heavy at the back would be an issue, so I wanted to get the level, the weight right as per my car spec. But I had to get this done, I wanted to film it. It's just one of these things that built up in my head over time, gave me huge anxiety based on the information that's available online. So I wanted to put the record straight in case anyone else is an absolute amazing beast. And once I use their estate or wagon, here you go. SUVs in the bin. So my cylindrical table leg. Cylindrical? And all the way down, 95 it stops. Yeah. And the wheel's free. So that's 95, my maximum is 100, gives me about 5 kg to like dip, I don't know, I don't know, but 95, this means it works. All right, let's hook up my big V8 motor. Look at that, that's how you line it up. Is she in? Yeah. She's in, car going down. Suspension's lifting it up. It's connected. Let me connect the power. This is the coolest, if I can get it in, the coolest <laughs> tow vehicle to exist. What the hell? The rig. Get it? Everything's a rig. Like when you put m multiple things together, it's a rig. PC, rig. This, rig. Anyway, how awesome is this? Porsche Panamera twin turbo V8 petrol so i'm probably going to go from about 500 miles of range to five however uh it's pulling my skyline now the main reason i wanted to do this is realistically i would love to be able to go to shows and stuff with working ac and not really worrying about the car or specifically going to a specialist with my own car and then being able to get back like this is just awesome there's so many things i can do with this let's go to monaco that sounds terrifying, actually. Anyway, straps on, this is connected. This is beautiful, this is perfect. I've waited so long to do this. And the car lifted up as it should with the air suspension, which tells me that it's fine. All right, let's hit the road. This is quite terrifying. The car definitely feels like it's got a car on the back. Wow, would you look at that? I just drove so many miles from over there. It definitely feels heavier. So I've driven it with the trailer before, but I can definitely feel the weight. Obviously, it's got two tons on the back of it now, but it still just rolled away. Like First impressions, uh, the car is like... <laughs> I have butterflies. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I can completely understand. But uh, it's doing it. I wonder how many looks will get. <laughs> you already got one look. Most people I don't think will actually know, <laughs> but there's this, all I see in the rear view is the skyline. <laughs> This is cool. The faster I go, the, the more stable it feels. I definitely feel like it could go like 100 plus with the, the trailer on it, confidently. Let's not that not I would do, do don't, that. No. Let's not do that. Don't do that, especially with a 130 grand car on the Yeah. Most of the driving is going to be on A roads. It's not going to be on like twine. I'm not racing. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really feel any lighter at the front, which is you know, something that you might think would happen considering the weight on the back of the car. But we got the tow ball weight right, which should be. Do you feel safe, comfortable? I do actually. Cool, 16 degrees. Yeah, seat's comfy. I could even put on the massage seat if I wanted to. Nobody cut me off. <laughs> People don't know how to use roundabouts. They're absolutely everywhere and no one knows how to use them. 
Also, don't cut off a man with a trailer. Thank you, Mazda. We appreciate it. It's so weird that being able to describe the like weight that I feel. You feel it. I feel it, yeah. I'm, I feel, I feel it. a bit more because I'm on the wheel, obviously, but like mm. you feel the back of the car. Yeah. Heavier. Yeah, no, I can definitely feel it. It's odd because it, I, from my experience, when, when I've driven heavier cars, like two ton plus SUVs or whatever, they don't massively feel that much heavier. Mm -hmm. But with something on the back, you, you definitely yeah. notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. yeah. I can actually tow about 200 kg more, maybe three. So we've got headroom, which is yeah, great. Yeah, that's good. Well, I'm happy we did that. I'm much more comfortable I was like, now. do you feel better now? Now that yeah. you've like gotten this out of your head and you've done it and you know it's really, it, it works, do you feel better about it now? It's kind of effortless. Like I towed with the truck. That was, that felt more effortless until it broke. Uh, yeah. But again, it weighs a bit more. Mm -hmm and it's kind of higher, I don't know, it's kind of set up differently. This, I definitely feel it more than the truck, but it's not gonna break, uh, which is nice. Well, look, speaking of that, the there, truck that breaks every two minutes. He's got a go-kart on the back of it. Hey, that's pretty cool. I've got a car on the back of my, <laughs> my estate car. Who needs an SUV? Not us. Maybe a, maybe get the three seats in the back when the new one comes out, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> got another look. <laughs> He's like, what the? And there we are, the ultimate tow car, Porsche Panamera, 100 kg more than the RS6. Otherwise, I probably would have got an RS6, but Porsche, that's why. Who needs an SUV? This is anti-SUV propaganda. SUVs in the bin. I don't have enough saliva to spit, so I pretended. This is so sick. Oh, I can take this everywhere with us now, and I don't need to worry. I could pay someone, I pay a man to do it, but like, if you can do it yourself. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. There's gonna be a heck of a lot more content with this and with that. In fact, uh, actually, this might be helpful, this setup for one thing we need to do, but we're gonna try it ourselves first. You'll see in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Smash like, subscribe, and watch this video here. It's a good one.